Well, in an effort to maintain social distancing, more and more people are buying cars. It's been great for car dealers, except for one issue. A shortage of computer chips is leading to a shortage of cars. New this morning, John Shumway is looking into this issue. John, it's hard to believe something so small could become such a big problem. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I mean, take a look at this picture behind me. Look how little that is on that guy's finger. But cars are dependent on them. You can't build cars without them. And it comes as car dealers are happily facing unprecedented buying demand. You know, pretty much every month the sales have exceeded what our expectations were. Uh, the inventory is getting tighter. And that is due to a lack of semiconductor computer chips critical to the manufacturing of the car. They just can't make enough chips to satisfy the auto industry, so the automakers can't make enough cars to satisfy dealers. Dealerships are finding some selections dwindling. The domestic inventory, particularly with trucks and SUVs, has been challenged, uh, they're, and they're all, they're all wrestling with that. Rob Cochran says brands like Kia, Hyundai, Nissan, VW, and Buick are doing okay. CBS Automotive correspondent Jeff Gilbert says only Ford is really talking about the numbers. So far, they're down about two and a half million vehicles in production, and we're just hitting the bottom now. So with more people wanting to drive to maintain their social distancing, the used car market is picking up the slack. Quite an unusual time, and we've really never seen anything like it when it comes to the used market. So if you have a quality trade-in. Because of the strength of the used car market, it's, it's quite a good time to be buying right now. Now, the car makers are doing things like they're putting their chips in their more profitable lines and letting others sit for a while, or they are producing the cars without the chips and then parking them until the chips come in. So they may have cars sitting out there, David, that they have produced, but the air conditioning system doesn't work because it doesn't have its computer chip yet. What a crazy situation it's that we're weird. in right now. All right, so how long is this going to last? Does anyone even know at this point how long it's going to last? Well, the chip manufacturers say they think they'll be back to the normal supply chain by midsummer, but then it all has to catch up through the system. So it looks like perhaps by the end of the year, things will start getting normal again at the dealership. In the meantime, it's a good time to shop if you are flexible about what you are willing to buy. All right, I can be flexible. Thanks, John. <laughs> sure good information. Much.